in this video we are going to see the topic specification of tokens so in previous topics um, in fact uh, initially we are uh, we have seen that the introduction about compilers after that the first phase of lexical analysis and the role of lexical analysis after that the techniques to be used in um, lexical analysis that is input buffering so finally the goal of lexical analysis is to produce tokens so for in, in that case after uh, performing the lexical analysis uh, we got token for that particular source program right after receiving the tokens we have to be uh, the compiler have to be passed those tokens to the next phase that is syntax analysis phase so how we can specify those tokens which are received from the uh, from that lexical analysis so in this lecture we are going to see about how we can specify those tokens which are received from the lexical analysis so the tokens are specified by three terms one is strings language and regular expressions so what is string and what is language initially start with an alphabet so alphabet or character it is a set of symbols right so what is a string it is a sequence of symbols so what is a language it is a set of strings consider uh, consider a set capital x is equal to a comma n comma t close the bracket so this is the example for alphabet or character set of alphabet uh, that is set of symbols finite set of symbols so what is string a n t and so uh, sequence of symbols sequence of characters is nothing but a string so what is the language sequence of uh, strings is a language for example language l is equal to a power n b power n so that is a language so these are the different meanings of alphabet string and language so what are the operations to be performed on strings there are uh, six operations uh, five operations to be performed on string prefix of string suffix of string and substring proper prefix proper suffix and prof proper substrings six operations prefix suffix substring proper prefix proper suffix and proper substring so what is prefix a prefix of string is nothing but is any string obtained by removing zero or more symbols from the end of the string for example consider the example banana it is a string it it it, ha, it can have the character or alphabets b a n a n a so for this uh, string we can get the prefix of string like b a n because um, by removing zero or more symbols from at the end so first of all we have to remove the last character a after that removing n after that removing j so we can get ban Uh, not only ban is a prefix ba is also a prefix right so this is prefix so what is suffix it is a reverse of prefix by removing zero or more symbols from the beginning of the string so we can get from banana nana n a n a is the suffix of that particular string banana so what is a substring it is obtained by deleting any prefix or any suffix we can uh, removing any symbols from the beginning and uh, removing any symbols from the ending so uh, by removing ba that is beginning and uh, the last symbol a that is end of the symbol so we can get the middle middle letters n a n it is a substring of the string banana so what is proper prefix and what uh, what is proper uh, suffix proper substring so those are uh, prefix suffix and substring respectively of that of those uh, string that are not epsilon or not equal to those strings itself so sub sequence of strings is any of the string formed by deleting zero or more number of symbols in a consecutive positions is nothing but substring right so ban is a sub sequence of banana consecutive pos uh, consecutive positions in the sense in banana they can uh, remove uh, consecutive positions that is uh, third position n is removed and fifth positions n is 
sorry the third position n is removed and uh, last position a is removed so we can get from uh, banana is b a a n that is subsequence right so what are the operations on languages so these are the operations to be performed on strings uh, here these are the operations to be performed on languages the operations are union concatenation clean closure and positive closure we all uh, seen about uh, ntoc clean clo closure and positive closure consider the example of language l is equal to 0 comma 1 and uh, another language s is equal to a comma b comma c so for union operation that is l union s we can get 0 comma 1 comma a comma b comma c for concatenation l dot concatenation operator dot is equal s is equal to 0 a 1a 0b 1b 0c and 1c so what is clean closure clean closure is defined as a string can get from zero or more times positive closure means one or more times so that only clean closure is represented by l power star and positive closure represented by l power plus so for l star it can get the set of epsilon 0 comma 1 comma 0 0 comma 1 1 comma 0 1 0 anything so for l power plus is equal to here the epsilon value cannot be included because it defined as one or more times so 0 comma 1 comma 0 0 it goes on up to without epsilon um on clean closure is positive closure so what is regular expression right so in the previous slide we saw about what is uh, language what is string what are the operations to be performed on those strings and languages now uh, uh, we are going to see the third uh, specification of token is regular expression we all know about what is regular expression uh, each regular expression r denotes any language so regular expression is used to represent any type of languages that is why it is represented by l of r so the first point is if epsilon is a regular expression then the language of epsilon is epsilon only because epsilon is nothing so if epsilon is regular expression then um, language of epsilon is epsilon so if a is a symbol in epsilon then a is the regular expression right if uh, if epsilon is equal to a so if uh, sigma summation is equal to a then regular expression l of a is equal to set having a only right suppose r and s there are two regular expressions uh, that is used to denoting the language l of r and l of s then uh, it indicating the union operation for r and s that is l of r union l of s if they are performing concatenation operation then l of r concatenation operator dot l of s if r power star clean closure is a regular expression then it is denoted by l of r the whole star if r is a regular expression then it is indicated by l of r so the unary operator star has the highest precedence or priority in regular expression and concatenation is the second priority and r operator has the lowest precedence priority in regular expression so what is regular set if a language can be defined by any regular expression then it is called as regular set consider two regular expressions r and s denote the same regular set then uh, we can say that both regular expressions are equivalent then it can be represented by r is equal to s so it is uh, suitable for commutative law and associative law for commutative law r uh, dot s is equal to s dot r that is uh, concatenation operator and it is also useful for associative r dot s dot t is equal to r dot s the whole dot t then uh, regular definitions so each and every expression having some definition value so uh, they are giving some names to each and every regular expressions that names is uh, referred to as regular definitions for example r1 is a regular expression r2 is a regular expression and r power n it, it goes on rn is a regular expression 
so for each regular expression having some definition that is represented by d1 d1 is one rep, uh, one definition so for regular expression r1 it having some name uh, to the regular expressions that name is referred to as regular definition d1 for r2 the regular definition value is d2 it goes on consider the example so for identifier the regular expression for an identifier is a letter is followed by letters or digits with zero or more times you can clearly see that for identifier letter is followed by open the bracket letter or digit with zero or more times it indicated by the power star so letter letter or digit with zero or more times is the regular expression for an identifiers which are identified in the source program by lexical analysis so for letter we are having some regular definition that is capital a to z and small a to z for digit we can represent 0 to 9 so one or more instance and zero or more instance and character classes one or more instance in the sense it is a, it is represented by positive closure zero or more instance means it is represent the clean closure value right so the postfix operator here using plus we can represent this uh, like clean closure l power star and positive closure l power plus the same thing this is positive closure plus means positive closure and uh, star means zero or more times that is clean closure zero or more times character class represents which is going to give the definition value for uh, uh, character letters and digits uh, letters means capital a to z and uh, small a to z and for digits or numbers 0 to 9 and the final one is non regular set because uh, we are, we saw about regular set if the language having regular expressions then it is represented by regular set so what is non regular set if the language cannot be described by any regular expression then that regular uh, then that language is called as regular non regular set right consider the example a set of all the strings of balanced parentheses and repeating strings cannot be described by any regular expressions so this type of example is called as non regular set so in this lecture um, we can uh, we are uh, we saw that how we can represent the uh, specify the tokens which are identified by the uh, lexical analysis there are uh, three types or techniques to be used to specify the tokens strings languages and regular expressions so and uh, uh, we are saw about uh, what are the operations to be performed on strings and languages and finally we saw about regular expressions what is regular expressions and uh, what are the operations to be performed on regular expression union concatenation clean closure and passive closure and uh, what is regular uh, definition and what is regular set and what is non regular set